Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone, high rollers time, and this week we're going to take a look at eBay, and as been the case with a number of recent high roller eBay lists, uh, the top 10 are all sort of cards we've seen before, or mostly cards we've all sort of seen regularly, so uh, instead of that we're going to run through 33 recent high dollar sports card sales from eBay that are sort of hand-picked as a little more, uh, get a little more variety, a little more interesting uh, items in here, and going to run through them uh, lowest to highest, rapid fire style. This week's list is brought to you by Hoodies Collectibles. They're a consignment company that will sell your cards for you via eBay auctions. I use Hoodies regularly as part of my overall selling strategy, and I just love their setup. You, you just ship them cards, they list them for you, and you can follow everything along in real time. And here's just a snapshot of some cards I sent them in my last order to be uh, to be sold, and you can, again, follow it all along in real time. You can see how much time is left, what the price is at, uh, you know, the fees and, and all that. You can click on any individual link, and it'll take you straight to the eBay page of that card. And here's, you know, an example of, a Joe Montana rookie that I'm selling through hoodies. It's currently at $66 with five days left in the auction. Uh, here's a Jerry Judy rookie patch auto, a Juan Soto rookie, PSA 10, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And again, you can follow it all, all along in real time. Just a really nice uh, platform and a really nice setup. If you want to consider giving them a try, I highly recommend it. I've included links to their web page and their phone number uh, in the description below. But all right, let's check out our 33 high roller items this week, and we will start off with 2022 Select Football uh, Desmond Ritter NFL Shield. Uh, this is a rookie patch auto of Ritter. It is a one of one. You can see the card is ungraded. 53 bids in the auction here. The card ended at exactly $10,000. You're going to see a bunch of football quarterbacks, modern football quarterbacks this week as uh, we gear up for the uh, NFL season. 1999 Skybox EX Century Essential Credentials Now. Uh, Brett Favre, this card is serial numbered out of just 16. Really weird serial numbering system on this particular set. But yeah, this card is serial numbered out of just 16. Another ungraded card that goes for exactly $10,000 in auction. Six bids on the Favre. 2018 National Treasures Rookie Patch Auto Trey Young. It's uh, graded a BGS Mint 9 with a 10 for the auto. Serial numbered out of 49. This is the uh, horizontal variation. Again, $10,000 on the nose. 56 bids on the Trey Young. Nice three color patch on that card there more cards landing at exactly ten thousand dollars but this is vintage baseball 1952 tops mickey mantle the holy grail of baseball cards although not in this condition as it's from our previously owned by edward scissor hands division you can see all four uh, borders are missing or have been cut off the, uh, off of the card it's great an sgc authentic altered still it goes for ten thousand dollars that was the opening bid Back to Modern Football, got three quarterback listings in a row here. 2018 National Treasures Synced Signatures, Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski. Cool, a dual auto there. Seal numbered out of 10. It's graded BGS Near Mint Mint plus 8.5 with a 10 for the auto. 42 bids in auction goes for $10,050. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, 2017 National Treasures Rookie Patch Auto Booklet. Uh, it's the laundry tag is the patch, and it's graded a BGS Near Mint Mint plus 8.5. This card's serial numbered out of just 5, and this one's serial uh, numbered 505. $10,099. Pull out your change person, throw an extra 77 cents on top of that. Brock Purdy, 2022 National Treasures. Uh, rookie Patch Auto, Stars and Stripes, first off the line. It's uh, ungraded, but uh, serial numbered out of 25. Nice looking uh, busy card there with a nice two-color patch. $10,111. Cool card here, 1936 Marathi Cigarettes from the Berlin Olympics. Jesse Owens, this is his first year of uh, cards, 1936, so I guess this would be considered a rookie graded an impossible PSA Mint 9 from our Blazer Division, $10,345.77. 1980s baseball is in the building, let's get wild. 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, uh, maybe the most iconic baseball card from the 1980s, almost surely I would say that. I guess Ricky Henderson might have something to say about that, but... $10,350. This card is autographed. It's graded a PSA Gem Mint 10 with a DNA 10 for the auto as well. 1949 Bowman Leroy Satchel Page Rookie graded a PSA X Mint Plus 6.5 and uh, looks to have tremendous eye appeal from a 6.5. Absolute stunner of a card, at least from here. $10,544.33. 54 bids came in for the card you're looking at there on screen. Soccer 2017 Panini Immaculate. Uh, collection milestone Cristiano Ronaldo black box auto the card is a one of one uh, ungraded but still in the original Panini case ten thousand seven hundred and one dollars fifty two bids came in here for the Cristiano Ronaldo Drew Jones 2023 Bowman Chrome Sapphire red refractor auto this is the first Bowman Chrome card still numbered out of just five a lot of ones in the price that it ended at eleven thousand one hundred and eleven 
dollars from our what could possibly go wrong there division. 1990s basketball, 1997 Ultra Stars Gold, Anthony Hardaway, also known as Penny Hardaway, graded PSA Gem Mint 10. This card is just a pop two, very, very rare 90s basketball insert, uh, parallel insert actually, it's both a parallel and an insert, as this was an insert and there were parallel versions of it. There you go. Uh, $11,600.74. Back to soccer, 2019 Topps Chrome UEFA Champions League autograph, Erling Holland. The card's graded at PSA Gem Mint 10 with a DNA 10 for the auto. $12,350. The card is just a pop five in this grade. 2020 Panini Black Rookie Patch Auto, Justin Herbert. It's graded at PSA Near Mint Mint 8 with a DNA 10 for the auto. Yeah, patch you can see is like the Nike swoosh, and I guess he autographed the patch. Interesting card there. It's a one of one, $12,444. Cade Cunningham, 2021 Panini Flawless Rookie Patch Auto. This is a uh, vertical emerald parallel serial numbered out of just five. You got a nice three color patch, graded PSA Mint 9, DNA 10 for the auto, $12,600. Moving up here, 2020 Topps Chrome Formula One uh, Autograph Refractor. Lewis Hamilton is graded a PSA near mint seven with an uh, authentic for the auto. This card's still numbered out of 58. Despite the kind of low grade, it goes for $13,458. Steph Curry, rookie 2009, National Treasures, rookie patch auto. Uh, this is graded a BGS gem mint 9.5 with a 10 for the auto. This parallel is still numbered out of 49. Look at the patches on that, on that beauty. Uh, nice looking card there. Or at least the patches, really nice looking patches. $13,600. Sticking with basketball, 2021 Panini Flawless Jalen Green rookie. Uh, this is a championship tags uh, patch card. Not really sure, but uh, you can see the nice gold patch there. This card's still numbered out of just two. It's ungraded. Goes for $14,100. Back to vintage baseball, 1951 Bowman Willie Mays rookie, the Say Hey Kid. This one's graded a KSA uh, X Min 6. KSA is a Canadian company, sort of specialized in hockey. They're definitely a niche niche company, but uh, I think they're they're generally considered credible for the most part. Just under fifteen thousand dollars. A PSA six goes for about double that. Twenty twenty two Bowman Chrome Sapphire Purple Auto, uh, Ali De La Cruz first Bowman Chrome card. This card is seal numbered out of just ten. It's graded a PSA Gem Min 10 DNA ten for the auto. A lot of Tens in that description there. $15,100. His cards uh, continue to be on fire. Back to 90s basketball. 1997 Ultra Stars. Michael Jordan. This is actually the same uh, set we saw earlier with the Penny Hardaway, although this is not the gold version, just the the, the, the standard inset, not the parallel insert. Graded a PSA Gem Mint 10, $15,100. More quarterbacks. 2022 National Treasures. Kenny Pickett. Nike Swoosh. Rookie Patch Auto. The card is a one of one, and it goes for $15,200 ungraded. Vintage Baseball, once again, 1954 tops. Hammer and Hank Aaron graded a PSA near mint seven. Looks like an absolute beauty from here for this iconic all-time card. Graded a uh, PSA near mint seven. I said that already, didn't I? $16,370 in auction. Modern quarterback still not done. 2020 Panini Prism Gold Prism Jalen Hurts rookie. Graded a PSA near mint mint eight. You can see the cards notably off center left to right, which is a, I'm uh, guessing the reason for the uh, eight score. It is serial numbered out of 10. And this one's serial numbered 01 of 10 for what that's worth. 16,000 plus Canadian dollars. That's the equivalent to about $12,354 American. Check out this cool triple auto. 2003 Fleer Tradition triple auto rookie of LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, and Dwayne Wade. Three future Hall of Famers. Uh, it's graded a PSA authentic. I guess that means the card and the uh, autograph are both authentic. PSA is that DNA's uh, label can be confusing at times, but that's what that means. Just short of $17,000. 1981 tops card number 21, Magic Johnson. This is a second year card, but it is first card ever to feature him all by himself. It's graded a PSA gem mint 10, $17,100. Larry Bird from the same set is coming up shortly. 1986 Fleer, Johnny Moore. If you're not familiar with Johnny Moore, he's the uh, second most valuable card in this set. Despite there being 11 Hall of Fame rookie cards in this set, only Michael Jordan outsells him in a PSA 10 grade. That's because of a very low pop count, and so apparently someone was hoarding the PSA 10, so set collectors are have a hard time finding this card in a PSA 10. $20,500 for uh, essentially uh, what would uh, uh, ungraded would essentially be a common here. More vintage basketball, 1970 tops Pistol Pete Maravich rookie. Graded a scorching PSA Mint 9. It's a uh, tall boy set, so 
These are even harder to get in high grade than normal cards from the 1970s as they were well, really hard to store. They just they don't fit in normal top loaders. They don't fit in normal card boxes, etc. PSA Mint 9, $21,200. Shout out to the guys over at Greg Morris who was the uh, seller on this one. This card uh, got 82 bids. There's the Larry Bird from the same set as the Magic Johnson. And like Magic Johnson, it's his second year card, but also the first card that features him all by himself. 1981 tops Larry Bird is great at PSA. Gem Mint 10, 65 bids on the auction here, 28,850 bucks. I love when dual autos or triple autos or quad autos have, the, you know, the players have something relevant to each other. It's not just like three really good players. Uh, here's a good example of that. 2006 Upper Deck Chronology, dual auto, Dean Smith and Michael Jordan. Uh, Dean Smith, of course, was Michael Jordan's college coach at North Carolina, one of the greatest college basketball coaches of all time. And Michael Jordan, obviously, arguably one of the greatest basketball player of all time. Uh, Great at BGS Gem Mint 9.5 with a 10 for the auto card. Serial numbered out of 25. Goes for $35,000. This would probably be my favorite card on the list that is uh, not vintage. Uh, 1998 Ultra Platinum Medallion Kobe Bryant. This is a third year card. It's serial numbered out of 99 and extremely tough to get in high grade, let alone a PSA Gem Mint 10 as this one is. Uh, it goes for $35,100 with 63 bids and we had a lot of modern football and basketball but this week but we're going to finish on vintage soccer 1958 desportos todo mundo uh pele is graded a psa uh fair 1.5 i've never seen this card before pele has a lot of rookies from 1958 maybe maybe 20 or so and uh, this is one i've never seen before and it's extremely rare it is a pop one and there's only been five copies ever graded by psa listed for 56k sold as a best offer for forty seven thousand five hundred dollars but that's it for this week's High Rollers. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay safe out there and eat your vegetables. And, uh, yeah, may the force be with you. Thanks, everyone.